In this video, you will see how to mail merge on Outlook desktop. We have a word document here with the letter we want to send to a list of people, which we have in this Excel document. Let me clarify. We cannot do the mail merge on Outlook. We need to create the mail merge document on Microsoft Word and it will send the emails via Outlook itself. And for the list of contacts, we can use Excel spreadsheet or we can use the Outlook contacts as well. So here in this video, I have the list of contacts in an Excel spreadsheet with the related columns. And here in the Word document, the letter contains two placeholder with the text here xxxs and xxxx. We will replace this with the Excel spreadsheets name and publication name. On the Word document, click on the mailings menu and select start mail merge. From the list of options, select email messages. Now we will import the contract which we have in the spreadsheet. Click on the select recipients and select the use an existing list option. Open the file with the contacts. I have it here and open it. Here you will see the worksheet name. Since our contacts top row contains the header, so we will keep this option checked and click on the OK button. Now we will fill the placeholders, this and this, on this letter with the content from the Excel spreadsheet we just imported. First we will put the first name here. Let me delete this. Now here select insert mail march field and select the first name. Before inserting any mail march field, make sure that the mouse cursor is there where you want to insert the field. So let's insert first name and I want to add the last name as well. So I'll give a space and again I want to add the last name here and a comma. Now I want to add the publication name here where the placeholder text is. So I am deleting this text here and put the mouse cursor here and again go to insert merge field and select publication. We are ready with the letter. To preview it, click on the preview results option and you will see how it looks. You see the first name, last name and the publication name here, John News. You can use these arrows to navigate to the previews for the other contacts. You see it here. Let's send the email now. Here click on finish and merge option and select send email messages. Here select the email address field where all the email addresses for all the contacts are. For us, it is in the email column, right? And it has detected automatically. And now let's create a subject line for the email. I'm adding Outlook mail merge via word test and mail format it HTML and we will send the email to all the records we have. So I will keep this selected all and click on the OK button. We are done. If you open your Outlook and check your sent items or Outbox because the email messages are just now sending. So you see the email messages are now sending. So now we can check them on sent items as well. So you see all the email messages. Example, example, example. And here is the list we have with all the email addresses and we just sent. And let's check the email message, how it looks. This is the mail merge document we have and this is the email message. So we are done. Unfortunately, we cannot send attachment when sending emails with the default mail merge from Microsoft Word. I will create another video on how to send attachment with mail merge from Microsoft Word. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Please like the video and share it with the people who may need it. Thank you for watching.